Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Flutter Explain. Today I want to tell you how you can start learning Flutter. For that I want to introduce you to Flutter and tell you why you should learn it. And after that I want to provide you some useful resources which can help you along your learning path. And last but not least, I want to tell you how you can stay up to date with all new features and updates from Flutter. And now, if you are new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you feel generous today, please give me a like in advance. And now, let's get started. First of all, let's see what Flutter is. Flutter is an open source UI software development kit from Google which is released in 2018. With Flutter, you can develop applications for different platforms such as mobile, like iOS and Android, for web, desktop, such as Windows, Linux, and Mac, from a single code base. The first version of Flutter was known as Sky and ran just on Android. To write a Flutter app, you will write it with Dart language. Dart is a client-optimized programming language which has a pretty tough time at the beginning. But thanks to Flutter, it increased tremendously and now it is on place 12 on the IEEE table. The IEEE table is a measurement for the popularity of different programming languages. Flutter has many fantastic features. One of them is Hot Reload. Hot Reload enables us to see the changes from our code base directly in the UI without losing the state. For example, if you add some features or fix bugs in your code, you can see the result of your work directly in the UI. Let's have a more in-depth look into Hot Reload and see how Hot Reload works in general. Hot Reload works by injecting updated source code file directly into the Dart virtual machine. The Dart virtual machine takes care of running your app. After the VM takes care of updating classes with fields and functions, the Flutter framework will rebuild the whole widget tree. And with that, you can see the result of your work immediately on the UI. In Flutter, we have also Hot Restart. The main difference from Hot Restart to Hot Reload is that in Hot Restart, the code changes will be uploaded into the VM and your app will be rebuilt with losing the state. Another significant feature of Flutter is the preset UI element. You can use Material Design and Cupertino in your app to have a native end-user experience for iOS and Android. These out-of-the-box widgets for Material Design and Cupertino make it super easy to create beautiful app designs. Flutter contains also native performance, which means that different Flutter widgets contains native platform differences for the best performance possible. Fantastic! So far we learned a lot about Flutter and why you should start learning Flutter. Now it's time to see how you can start learning Flutter. There are different ways of starting with Flutter. I would say if you are coming from a mobile programming language such as Swift, Xamarin or React Native, the best way for you is to stick with the Flutter documentation from Flutter team. Because the Flutter documentation is very well written, it's very clear and short. And most of them have already a sample code which will lead you to a straightforward start. Additionally, Flutter team provides different code labs where they select a topic for an app and step by step they explain you how you can implement it in your code. You can find the link to both these resources down in the video description so that you can start right away. For people who are not professional programmers, I created a poll on my Twitter and asked other developers what is the best approach to start with Flutter and Dart. I think it depends on your personality and also your preferences, but the majority answered start directly with Dart and Flutter. To start with Dart and Flutter, there are different fantastic courses on different learning platforms. For example, to start with Dart, you can find different courses for different Dart levels on educative.io or on Udemy. 
and you can find the both link in the video description below. Also for Flutter, there are a couple of fantastic courses on different platforms. For example, Max and I took the complete 2020 Flutter Development Bootcamp with Dart from AngularU and the AppBrary team, and we can recommend it to everyone. There are also other great Flutter and Dart courses, such as Flutter and Dart from Maximilian Schwarzmüller from our friends of Academite, and also Flutter and Firebase from Andrea Bisotto from the uh, Learning Flutter with Andrea, and much more. We found also a GitHub repository from Damian, Michel, and Tomas, which is a Flutter Developer Roadmap 2020. This roadmap is a guideline for you to figure out how you can be proficient in Flutter. You can find in the video description below the link to all these resources and courses. And now it's time to see how we can stay up to date with all the updates and new features from Flutter. First of all, I would suggest everyone to join on Twitter because the Flutter community is very active on Twitter and many Flutter developers share their knowledge and thoughts frequently on Twitter. So be active on Twitter where it leads you to hear all the news directly from the community. Also, there is a Flutter community on Medium where you can find different articles for different topics in Flutter. For example, you can find article from Tim Sniff, the group product manager for Flutter and Dart in, at Google, or the Crystal, the product manager for Flutter at Google. And last but not least, some self-promotion. We have every two weeks a series which is Flutter News. In our Flutter News, we share all updates and new features, which is from the last two weeks with our community. You can find the link to this playlist in the info box. Fantastic, that was quite a lot. We learned what Flutter is and why you should start with Flutter and what makes Flutter so unique for development. Additionally, the cross-platform and hot reload promises are impressive and we are very excited to see what will come in the future. We hope we could help you with this introduction how you can start learning Flutter. If you have any question, please let us know in the comment below. And now I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give me a like and don't forget to hit on the subscribe button. I wish you an amazing day and see you the next time.